I told you it was coming. It is now here. Everything you need to know about Quaff Guy is going to be in this video. If you want to see all the characters on the roster have their own video, hit that like up button so that I know it's real. But if you're feeling extra spicy, leave a comment down below letting me know which character you want to see next. This is not one of those videos that's going to tell you where to line up your ultimate, where to put your, your beastie bubble buddy. If you want to climb ranks, if you want to do well in Tribe and Lone Star, this is going to be the video for you teaching you how to play the character efficiently because that's the most important part. So the first thing we want to talk about is his shot. When we shoot, it's like a little missile and it goes forward. That's one of the cool things about Quaff is that his shot is really kind of like a sniper shot, but it, it does have travel time. The further you look up, the more of an arc you're going to have on that launch. As you see, it goes like this, but when you're looking straight, you kind of can get a little bit of a nice just straightforward shot so keep that in mind when you are lifting up all the shots in this game do have an arc but with quaff's case it's more straight if you can manage to be on the same level or looking down on an opponent the second part about his regular attack is that his attack doesn't actually go to the ground like all the other characters as you see it actually explodes midair so when you are fighting, you want to make sure that you try to aim to get it to explode if you're not sure you're going to land it. Because the last thing you want to do is straight whiff and miss the target. I do want to add that if you take a shot, whether it explodes midair or it explodes right next to the target, it will not have pushback. If you actually land it on the target like so, it will have pushback and the character will be knocked back. So now that we have his basic attack kind of set up, let's talk about his L1. So his L1 works two different ways. You can either go forward and then once he's done, he'll leap up and he'll go down. This is really good because it knocks people out the way, but you have to be careful because it knocks them in kind of a random direction sometimes and you can't really rely on it. Another thing that it tends to do is knock them too far so that if you reactivate it midair, you will miss your target. So keep that in mind. The second version that we have is if you jump, you'll just go straight up and you'll go straight down. Pretty simple, pretty to the point. So when we're talking about Quaff's R1, there's actually a couple of things you want to know, and I'll talk about them all. So the first thing is that it actually gives you liquid back. You and your teammates, whoever walks over it gives liquid. If the opponent walks over it, obviously they don't get their ammo refilled, but it's really something nice to have, especially when you're dealing with something like a male T on your team or with the character who tends to expend their ammo quite frequently. Jet is another character that would benefit a lot from that. The second thing we want to talk about is how it functions with Quaff in general. The first thing is that if you go on it, he has a set height, but if you land as you're taking your shot, you'll actually gain more height, you see? Or you can just walk into it with your shot. You see how high you go? So just kind of keep that in mind when you're fighting. So always keep in mind, if you are holding the right trigger, you will go higher. If you aren't holding the trigger, you'll go to the set height. So just kind of keep that in mind. You can play a lot of mind games when playing with Quaff if you learn to play around that. The second thing that it does is it affects Quaff's L1. So two ways this works. The first way is it will completely stop you. So as an example, I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna ram into it. See, it stops me completely. So you really have to be careful when you're using both of these abilities at the same time because it will not go off. There's also another little trick that a lot of players might not know. If you bounce on it like this, you actually get it empowered L1. Look how big it is. Way bigger than what it actually would look like without doing it. This is something you really want to keep in mind, but you also have to remember just because it's bigger doesn't mean it does damage. They only take damage in your circle, but you do spread foam a lot further if you jump on your poodle. As an example, I'll just do it right here. See? So you can see the size difference already, right? Like I said, the expanded foam is not going to do damage. It's just there. You still have to hit them within your circle. The last thing we're going to talk about is his ultimate. Uh, you just throw it down. Once you throw it down, people in there are going to start dancing. It's very easy to save them. I don't know if people know this. They try to tell you in tooltips, and I'm pretty sure it's been in other places. But if you see someone dancing, treat them like they are foamed up. Just slide into them, and you can save them. I also want to talk about one more thing that Quaff does. And when he is in the air, he actually floats when he shoots. So really keep that in mind when you are playing Quaff. He can float. There's a lot of tricks you can do with the fact that you can float. So keep that in mind when you play him. So when we're talking about gems, this is the setup that I go for. Foam damage recovery speed up, movement speed up, and skill cooldown time down. So we want the movement speed up just because Quaff is slow when he's shooting. 
most characters are locked in a position. Quaff is locked in that position for a lot longer. When you shoot, he is stuck. So having that movement speed helps you get out of sticky situations if you were to be stuck in that um, slow moving state. The skill cooldown time is just crucial for Quaff. I don't know. It is crucial. Being able to use your L1 and R1 repeatedly is one of the better functions of Quaff Guy, and I highly recommend taking that. Now, with the foam damage recovery up, I know some of you guys might be like, oh, why? Well, despite what people might think, Quaff is actually very good at fighting in close range as well. Just, you just have to know how to aim. So for my play style, I like to go in and out as much as possible. If I see someone low, I'm gonna go in, swoop in, get that kill, come back out. This is why for me, the foam damage recovery actually works wonders. But honestly, you could change it for whatever. I personally wouldn't do reload speed because it takes a while for him to reload anyway. And most of the time, you'll reload off of the poodle that you drop. And I wouldn't go for anything with his ultimate because his ultimate already charges fairly quick quickly it's not necessary but anything else I mean slide speeds jump whatever you want to do you can go for it so I'm gonna try my best to explain everything as I'm doing it what I like to do is instantly go I actually messed that up but I like to instantly start if you dash you'll reach there and you'll come up but I was adjusting my, my sound settings so as you see you're just trying to get a few hits off oh I messed up I didn't even get him my, ba my bad fam so what we're really gonna do is just try to hold this position now, one of the cool things about this position is if you hide behind, you're actually able to just kind of take people out. Now, you do want to keep in mind, we, we, we do want to keep in mind that... I got you, I got you, fam. You want to keep in mind that you can be ran up on. Quaff's 1v1 potential isn't that great unless you are just accurate with your shots, but that doesn't mean you can't take them. So, just do your thing. And when you when you get people low, especially with a character that likes to hit from range, you really don't want to do too much. You just kind of want to hang here. So we're about to get ran up on, as you see. We're going to just use our poodle as a very good way to escape. And you guys can be like, quit calling it a poodle. That's what I call it. Don't, don't, don't add me. So we're just trying to get him low. We're just trying to do stuff. And, and we want to back up. We don't really want to take every fight. If we get in trouble like this, what we could do is just dash away. Really keep that in mind. You want to create as much space as possible. You want to make sure that you are always at a distance. Again, your 1v1 potential is not that great. We got him pretty low here. We were able to actually take his team out. What we're going to do is just kind of engage on this. We already know that his team just spawned. We're going to try to engage. Oh, she just ulted. Uh-oh. Run! We're going to get out of here just because she ulted. Don't even try to fight. Really, there's no reason to. Just kind of space yourself out. If they go down and you're playing a character like Quaff or, or Tonix or, you know, characters that, again, like to fight from long range, don't be tempted to go in and try to get chills. Just wait. Wait it out. Let your teammate do the work. Because we're stuck, we're just going to use this to get out. Like I said, really, we're just focusing on creating that space. And as I said, keep in mind that you can float around as Quaff. It's actually <laughs> really nice. One more shot should do it. Oh, I got you. If you know they're going to get slammed to you, just hold the trigger. So that way you're able to help your teammate. I'll notice a lot of people try to time, like, saving people. Don't really worry too much about that. We got them low, but we can't save them. But when she drops after being saved, we're going to toss the bomb. Hopefully, she's just going to get start dancing as soon as she drops. There it goes. And that's game. Don't really worry too much about that person over there. And there it is. The thing with Quaff's ultimate is you really, really want to make sure that you time it right. It's not as broken as it might seem. It's very easy to evade it, and it's very easy to save your teammate. So you really want to make sure that when you throw that ult, you're not spamming it and you're timing it. We'll play another one because that one was pretty short. All right, so same plan. We're going to try to space as much as possible. Uh, one of the tricks, too, is to see which people are on the enemy team. This team has a Jet, a Melty, a Penguin, and a Quaff which means that it's gonna be very, very rough for us to space against them because they're very good at, uh, you know, doing damage. Hello? They're very good at doing damage from afar. I like to always secure like a high area because this helps you be able to run away if people come towards you, but it also helps you be able to get, to kind of survey the map. So I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive here. Remember, try to do your best to float. It's very, very helpful. I'm gonna get a reload in because we see him. We don't really want to fight unless we're a full reload. Just keep that in mind whenever you're playing really any character. We want to make sure we're not getting ran up on. So Quaff is split up. He's fighting over there, which means we can kind of help our team over here because he's too focused on me. 
right? Now, if I get pinched, I'm in trouble. But the fact that Quaff is over to my right and my and their team is like right there, it's free. We, we see that we have him down. So what we're going to do is kind of float our way there. And we're going to just try to jump on him. See if we can get something. Mm, we couldn't get anything from that. That's all right. We got Jet. Or we got uh, Quaff. All right, we saved our team. We didn't get anything, but we kind of pushed them back. Good enough. Remember, just kind of all about zoning. Now, like I said, I like to have the foam recovery up for situations like this. I want to be able to go back in. We got to kind of back up a little bit. Try to get as much foam around you as possible just so you can run away if necessary. He's not that great at it, but he's great. And he's good enough. He's good enough. He's definitely not the worst. I play a lot of Jet, and Jet is awful. So, you know, it's doable. Again, try to space. Try to make it so that they have to focus on more than just the people in front of them. That's the way to play Foam Stars, especially with characters that is as far. If people are sitting on each other, try to get their attention. So they have to run through this to help to get my team that's down right there. So we're just going to relax. Quaff likes to fall straight down, so we can just kind of aim a straight shot at him. We see Jet shooting at me. We still don't see anybody on our left. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue to kind of push the left and get some more space. Again, before each fight, you want to reload. I'm not going to waste my time putting my poodle down right now because I can get a full clip by just reloading. Now we're getting ran up on. Ooh. I should, I should have put the poodle down. That's okay, though. Because we got ran up on, my team was able to move in. Hopefully, I can get a free chill. When you, when you go down like this, you want to make sure that what you're doing is going one for one chill. So you see I got chilled down and my team was able to take someone out. That's what you want. And this is why you have to learn how to do it properly. I did get caught and I didn't have to get caught. That was definitely my fault. But once you learn how to do that properly without actually getting caught, it's super, super effective. It's super effective. I got a little greedy. I knew better. I should have just, I should have put it down. I tried to get greedy and not waste it. Okay, Melty's ulting. So we're just gonna use this as a chance to kind of get some free hits. Oh wow, she's really far. I didn't know she was that far. We're just gonna kind of use this as a way to float and reposition. One of the cool things about this game, when you're looking at the arc of your weapon. Uh-oh, hold up. We're just going to jump to get away. One thing to think about is the arc of the weapon. There's like a little circle. <laughs> I'm trying to talk, Pity Gwen. We're going to just fly up and get her. And we're just going to leave her here. Just because we want to waste that time. We don't want them to be able to sit with their teammate here. We're going to throw this bomb. And that should be all right. That's going to force them off. If they fall off, I'm just going to knock them back into it. Okay, well. You got to keep in mind, when you CC someone like that, when you knock them up, you do break his dance. So if anybody CCs them, even if it's your team, you do break their dance. So you got to be cautious of that. I see my teammate over there, but he's a done deal. I'm just going to continue to hammer down. But what I was talking about... I don't know if I can get to him. I can't. What I was talking about with that arc is that there's a little circle at the tip. That's a very good... Why did she get down, by the way? She should have just stayed up there. You see what I mean? If you do it too early, sometimes they get out of your circle ring. That's why you have to be careful about it. Should be it. Oh, what luck, bro. It's because I whipped my first shot. <laughs> That's all right. Look, I, I, I had to record late. So I didn't get any practice games in. I'm a little rusty. I'm not going to lie. I, I didn't get the warm up in. But what I was saying with the circle is that you see how it looks. That's a very good way to aim. If you feel like you can't shoot a straight shot, it's going to go where that circle is. Most characters have something like that. So it's kind of a great way to aim your arc if you feel like you can't land it. We don't really have to do anything, honestly. We could chill out for the next uh, two minutes. Should be dead. One thing about Quaff is that its projectiles are very slow. So normally as a character like Soa or Agito or pretty much the whole cast, the way that you can get around shooting is just lead your shot. But with Quaff, you have to like double lead it. <laughs> you have to like lead it so far if they're shooting from far away because it's the, the travel time is ridiculous. So just keep that in mind when you're playing him. You also want to try to jump into your shot. I feel like this is going to be it. Should be able to land on him. Where did they go? I knew he was going to dash. That's why I jumped. We're going to get out of here. We just wanted to kind of do a little something something. Hopefully my team can get me. 
One thing I notice people don't do is roll to their teammates. Remember to roll to your teammates. It's perfectly okay. A lot of people like to sit still and just wait. Roll to your teammates. Follow the momentum of how you got hit and roll. That's gonna be it. You always wanna time it, like I said. Time it well and you always have a really, really good ultimate. So just to round it off, Quaff is one of those characters that are very good all round. He's not amazing close range, he's really good at far range, but he could still play that all round style. The one thing you wanna remember in Foam Stars is that you're never just one thing. You can play all these other roles that are necessary. You can do what your team needs to be done. Sometimes with Quaff, you're gonna sit with your team and try to rain some fire while Agito and um, Soa go in and do some crazy stuff. Other times like that game you were just watching, I was kind of the distraction keeping my distance and splitting them apart. Because once they move away from formation, it's very easy to take them out. One of the things with Quaff that I really wanna also just kind of speak about is the fact that you're fighting in the air. You always want to try to be above or in the air if possible. You don't want to fight like this. It's just, you can if you need to, but try to be in the air as much as possible. Try to do stuff like that. A really good way so that they don't pop the, the beastie is to go left and right. Because you can float back to it. And then that way, you know, they're not focusing the thing under you because you're going this way and that way. They don't really know where you're going to land. I can go on and on with tips, but like I said, I really just wanted to teach you guys how to play Quaff efficiently. You want to see more characters, you can hit that like button so that I know you want to see more characters. And of course, leave a comment if you're feeling spicy about which character you want to see next. Until next time, you know what I always say. Thank you guys for doing what? Popping often. Well, often.